So what do we know about the 50 series from NVIDIA coming out? So we know we have a RTX 5050, an RTX 5060, an RTX 5070, RTX 5080, and an RTX 5090. So we're first going to start with the comparisons between the 5090 and the 4090. So the 5090 has a GB202 code name where the RTX 4090 is an AD102300. Interface is PCI Express 5.0 at time 16 versus 4.0 time 16 on the 4090. We go to D, uh, DGDR7, uh, 36 or 24 gigs is the leaks, you know, that are out right now. We It has been clarified just yet what it's going to be where we have 24 gigs on the 4090. So as far as CUDA cores, we... <laughs> We go up quite a bit on CUDA cores, so 24,576, if this is accurate, to from 16,384. So the L2 cache, how much cache is gonna gonna hold up on there for you is 128 meg versus 72. The boost clock is 2.9 from 2.52. Not a huge bump on the on the clock itself. It is an improvement. But a lot of people, you know, they jump to, oh, hey, this is huge, this is huge. But that's really and truly, that's not that big of a difference. Where we're going to actually see the difference is, is this bust right here. So the memory bus width is 512 versus 384. So on the new 50 series from NVIDIA, the minimum one is 384. So you're going to figure, so you got to get a 5070 or even a 5080 and it's 384 on that bus you're you're the same bus as a 4090 and now let's look at the memory bandwidth we're going to uh 1536 gigabits versus one uh 1008 gigabits per second so that that's a quite a bit of a big difference there uh, i would love to see this card at the 36 gig if not a 48 gig um i would just assume but again you know, as always, time is going to tell. We we won't know. Uh, hopefully, by the end of the year, hopefully by the end of November, we should know something uh, set in stone from NVIDIA themselves. The processor node will be the TSMC 3 nanometer or the TSMC 5 nanometer uh, node on there. Uh, the architect is going to be called Blackwell. The, of course, like I said, the memory is going to be the GDDR7. Uh, bandwidth is 384, 448, and 512 bit. So if I had to make a educated guess from things that I've read and seen out here, the 384 is going to be roughly be your between your 5060 Ti, 5070. I'm going to assume that either the 5070 Ti to the 5080 will be the 448, and of course the 5090 is going to be the 512. They are going to be rocking HDMI 2.1 and Display 2.1 for the next gen. And speaking of the next gen, we're gonna be going into the PCI Express 5.0 times 16, which is now I'm gonna take you into Intel because Intel, you know, they're the new Z890 uh, motherboards are now being shown everywhere. They're, they're released. Uh, toward the end of the month is when the Ultra series is supposed to be launched. We have the Ultra 285X, uh, uh, which is the Ultra 9, which is equivalent to an i9 uh, just without hyper threading. Uh, but there's some big changes as far as this PCI Express uh, goes on the motherboards. As we see on the motherboards now, the Intel, the first slot is Gen 5, and the first uh, PCI Express slot is going to be Gen 5 as well. But the difference is, is if you're running a Z790, and you try to run a Gen 5 M.2 and a, your 40 series at the same time, then what's going to happen is instead of running your GPU at 16 times, it's only going to run it at 8 times. It's going to cut it in half because the CPU only has 20 lanes. Think of a highway. A highway has lanes on it. So if you have 20 lanes and then you can add an extra 4 lanes, well, then you got 4 that you can give bandwidth to. So no different than lanes of a highway. But anyways, so having that extra four bands now you can actually run pci express gen 5 m.2 in the m.2 slot and run your uh 4090 or whatever you want 
at 4.0 times 16 as well without it being cut in half. In terms of performance, multi-core performance is, to me, not doing that well. As you see here on the screen, uh, the Ryzen 9 9950X is this whooping butt right now in the multi-core performance. With the 285K running roughly, what, 45563, where the 4090KS Extreme is 42678. So... Uh, for multi, this this chip really and truly, to me, is not going to be a powerhouse at all for multi-core. So this is strictly going to be a gaming chip for any type of work productivity. I would, <laughs> at this point right now, I'm going to say that I, I would stay away from this chip. But uh, again, I mean, we're going to see more once, uh, you know, it gets released and uh, we start seeing everybody's benchmarks. And always remember, people are going to be using different benchmark tools. So as we see here in Geekbench, uh, for the multi-core, it's showing that the uh, 285X is that, or excuse me, the 285K is, I mean, out whooping even the 9950, where uh, it was not on Cinebench. So uh, now here we go with the single core performance. It is showing. What is that? 3189 for the 14900KS to the 340, uh, 3449 for the uh, Ultra 9285K. So that is what? A 400 point difference, which to me is not a big difference. Now, if you're still on a 13900 or even a 12900, I mean, this, this right here would be a, a huge leap for. Uh, you all that have that type of you know older system. I'm going to get into a little bit of free games real quick, but before I do that, don't forget that Black Ops 6 starts on October 24th at 9 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is Californian time. So if you're in New York, um, then you're three hours. So that's midnight on New York, and here I'm in Texas, so that's 11 o'clock my time. So I'll just you know play with your region to what time it's going to go off. But don't forget... You know, the pre-launch times is the 24th, and then live, complete live, is on October 25th. I made a video not too long ago about uh, Epic Games. If you're on PC, you really need to be checking once a week, and we're coming up to the holidays where they're going to be giving out even more throughout the holidays. That's how I have a huge, huge uh, selection in my game library. But you come here in the, to the store, and you look for their free games, which here's their free games right now. Nothing too special right here. Just what, uh, Autumn Eve, or whatever that is. Um, some Cardboard Kings. Uh, kind of looks like, I don't know what kind of card game that is, or if it's like some uh, Torah reading cards there. Uh, we got Moving Out. This is this one that they're showing that, that will be out uh, come the 24th in, in four days. Again, come in here and check out their... Um, this, their games here. I mean, they have a lot of games uh, that people are miss out on. Let me go to my library and then give you a, for instance, I mean, here's my library. I'm going to go ahead and set this to all my games on one page real quick. So, I mean, some of these are cheesy, but some of them is just, not that I have all these installed in on my computer, but I mean, I have whatever I want, you know? I mean, heck, look, even Soccer 2024, some Star Wars, I mean, there's so many games here. Just Cause. All, all these are free. I think there might be two games in here that I, I actually purchased. But other than that, these are all free from Epic. And you need to be staying up on it because, like I said, they give out at least two a week. Um, and then during the holidays, sometimes they give up to five during the holidays. So Epic is really good at giving out the free games. I really, really like Epic. Another one that you need to keep your eye out on if you have Amazon Prime is your Amazon Prime Gaming. So if you uh, download their app, you can click on here. So I got some new ones. So what we got here, uh, VLAD Circus, whatever this is. Uh, I can, I've can i already claimed it, but see, I haven't claimed this one. It expires November 20th. Uh, again, you can just sit here and go through. Uh, these are the only ones. I normally just claim them, even though I don't install them. I mean, I might have someone come over one day and they want to play a game, you know. Uh, Dread Out, I think that, that might be like a horror game there. I think all these are horror games for October. But if I go uh, ready to install, I mean, these are all the games that I have just with Amazon games. 
Uh, Amazon also gives them out. And then, of course, don't forget that if you're signed up for certain things, you get certain Call of Duty packs, Fortnite packs, uh, Apex packs. You get different packs for different games for free. So another one to really look out is uh, Amazon. Again, I made a video of this a while back, about five, six months ago. But, yeah, this is another really, really good one that you need to be um, just staying up on top. You know, you never know what you might get, what you might miss. Can't leave Steam out of this right here. Um, they get some good deals that they do for games. So like like right here, Assassin's Creed, you know, 50% off right now, 40% off the, what, Fires of Rubicon. So they get some pretty good deals right here. And then, of course, you come right here and go to uh, Free to Play. Again, you know, a lot of a lot of people go to PC just to get on one or two games and they don't realize that there's more than just Call of Duty, more than just Fortnite. Uh, or Apex Legends out there. You got quite a few. So again, you can come in here. And of course, uh, they're shown right off the bat. What we got up here? Lost Ark free. What we got else here? Team Fortress free. Uh, Counter-Strike 2. Sims 4. Uh, Pub uh, Battleground. Overwatch 2. So you got a few in here. Again, you just scroll down and just come down here, and these are all free to play. Again, unlike Epic, that is 100% free. You don't even have to have a subscription. You just have to use your internet, which is how it should be. But, you know, for the consoles, I won't lay the consoles out here. But these right here are all free games on uh, the PS5 right now and in the PlayStation Store. All these are free. They got some pretty good games for their um, the monthly games this month. Actually, the last couple of months have been pretty good. So, I mean, if you're on PC, you can come in here and go to your monthly games. Just click on it. And then uh, they'll show you what you got coming in. So we got, what, WWE 2K24. I uh, got Dead Space. What is that? Dookie Dookie. Docky Docky. Whatever this is. Literature Club Plus. I don't know. Something that I would never download. Uh, there again, if, depending on if you have Deluxe, Extra, or Essentials. I mean, the, the higher up on the tier you, you get because Sony's so freaking money hungry, then you'll get a little bit better games. Me personally, certain games like this, I'd just rather wait until it goes on sale and get it. Um, last month was pretty good. We had, what, Hogwarts. Um, um, oh, crap. The one game they fly around on broomsticks. Quidditch. You had the Quidditch. There we go. But, yeah, no. You can... Um, like I said, depending on what premium plan you want to have for your PlayStation. Again, I didn't want to leave out um, the consoles here. But that wrap it up for me. I mean, we got, like I said, we got NVIDIA coming out with some new new cards. I mean, we're supposed to be hearing something by the end of November for those. Uh, this week here, we got the Intel. So um, some of the new uh, Z890 uh, motherboards look pretty good. Uh, the performance, that it's, it's going to be hit and miss on the performance on them Intels. Uh, for any type of productivity work because of the multi-core performance. So again, until somebody comes in and really sees, and because you can only see so much with benchmarks. Benchmarks is only going to give you an idea of what it's really going to be. It's not going to be until somebody really gets out there and they say, okay, look, I do video editing. This is what type of performance I'm getting with this chip versus with this chip here. So, uh, and there again, the direction that it's going, though, I mean, I think, what is it, 295K is going to be their flagship, which is their the KS version. So we still got that coming out. And now that one there, uh, of course, we know we're going to be looking at probably seven, 800 bucks for that one. But that one there is going to probably be where the the power of the, sh of the new Ultra chips are going to actually really lie. Uh, not to mention probably hitting that 10,000, uh, that 10,000 mega transfers on the memory. So, but no, I'm Thomas with Tomology. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one.